What's up gamers, Proto here, and it's a new month, so you know it's a new list of games. And it's really a perfect setting for us because being cooped up in the house for a lot of us, this is the best way to get our time by. Now, unfortunately, as I was getting this list together, one major game that was supposed to come out this month, which was The Last of Us 2, has been pushed back with no particular date. So I had to remove that one from the list. But don't worry, I still have plenty more games to talk about, so let's not waste any more time and let's look at the new games coming out in May. At number 9, we have Maneater. In this action RPG style open world game, you get to play as one of the ultimate predators, a shark that can evolve and make yourself stronger as you eat everything in sight. While exploring 7 different areas, fight with humans and local predators to be the number one on the food chain with a storyline campaign and a few little extras for you to enjoy this game with. Man Eater is set to release May 22nd. At number 8 we have Sword Art Online Acclimatization Licoros. And I know I might have said that wrong so excuse me. Based on the anime you play as Krito, a character that has awakened in the virtual world called the Underworld and set on an adventure with your friends and characters from the show in this JPR in this JPRG style game. With an immersive fighting system to learn and master, you'll definitely have a lot to dive into. With online play, you can customize your own character and fight with your friends and teams up to four online together. If you're a fan of the series, then you should be in for a real treat for this one. Sword Art Online Acquisition the Cross is set to release May 22nd. At number 7, we have Marvel's Iron Man VR. Set for the PSVR, now you can play as one of Marvel's favorite Avengers in VR. You play as Tony Stark in a brand new story, dealing with his past as a weapons maker and, and seller and a hacker that's trying to take him down. You get to experience this entire game in PlayStation VR, using motion controls to control your pulse arrays and so much more. So definitely, this is a definitely a game to be looking into, have fun if you have a PSVR. Now you can really be like Iron Man. You can move in, you can move like him and act like him. So that should definitely be interesting. Marvel's Iron Man VR is set to release May 15th. At number six, we have Minecraft Dungeons. Now this is a long away title since people seen the trailer. And it mixes the love of Minecraft and raiding dungeons in this beautiful, fun, crazy action adventure top down game. You have to stop the evil villain Art Linger from taking over the world by raiding and equipping the best gear and fighting his hordes of enemies. Expect a decent gear system and be able to play with up to four people in your group to fight and save people. Like I said, since people are seeing this trailer, they cannot wait for it. This will definitely get the minecraft rush going up again we might see minecraft videos going up like crazy again definitely again it'll be fun to stream with friends minecraft dungeon is set to release may 26. at number five we have jet lancer in this bullet hell style pixar art play play game you play as ash a mercenary for hire that flies the skies and has to help protect the city of root from an invasion now this is one game that they will be simple to learn but hard to master. But you have a wide variety of weapons and lots to choose from, along with 30 missions with an additional game plus mode that will give you even another level of challenge when you play through again. I will definitely be doing a review on this one, so be on the lookout for it, because it is right up my alley. Airplane games, bullet hell, pixel art, indie, definitely, definitely will be doing a review on this one. Jet Lancer is set to release May 12th. At number 4, we have Ninja La. In this free to play third person game where, the, where ninjas have nearly disappeared in this technological future, except for an organization that tries to keep the traditions and legacy alive in the shadows. You play as a scientist that creates a gum that unlocks, ninja, that unlocks a ninja's descendant's power. But if you're an adult, it turns you into a kid. So you enter a tournament to try to find a cure, while learning how to master the power at the same time. Now you'll have a storyline and a multiplayer mode, especially since this is going to be a free to play game that you can play in this bright, beautiful and fast paced world with up to eight different characters starting off. I'm sure they're going to be adding more characters as this game goes on, but you're going to be starting off with eight characters with their own unique skills. Now this definitely looks interesting title for the Switch. 
especially like I said it's gonna be a free to play game so definitely be on the lookout for microtransactions hopefully they're just cosmetic microtransactions but you know free to play games they gotta make money somewhere so but not be surprised if we do not see microtransactions when it first comes out we definitely will see some later on but it's definitely a nice little concept I definitely get the Fortnite style with the color the fast paced action it definitely looks fun so if you got a switch why not get it it's free Ninja Law is set to release May 27th. And number three, we have Best Friend Forever. The dating sim and pet sims crossover in this unique twist on the genres. You raise your own little dog and at the same time meeting people and going on dates with other people with pets. This is definitely a unique title for a specific group of gamers, but I can see some interesting less plays and streams with this title. And it's a, it's, a, it's a unique concept, you know, you got you have a bunch of dating sims, you have a few dog sims. To actually mix them together and like how people actually would meet people is it, interesting. But we'll see how it turns out. Best Friend Forever is set to release May 14th. At number two, we have Those Who Remain. In this horror puzzle adventure type game, you return to your hometown for a friend has passed away. But you notice that something is odd is going on. You start to discover there are monsters moving in the shadows, portals appearing out of nowhere, and something bigger going on. And you have to figure out what's really going on in the town to help save it. With light being your only source of protection, stealth is the name of this game. But your actions have consequences, with multiple endings that you can choose from based on what you do. So this definitely will definitely make a lot of people happy in the horror genre i can definitely see some more let's plays and streams of this because this game looks like it's gonna freak some people out i highly recommend don't play this one in the dark but those who remain is set to release may 15th and at number one we have atama crops in this farm sim mixed with some crazy side scroller action you are the only farmer that survives after the bombs drop so now you have to provide food for everybody and make some money on the side while doing it. So farm new crops while fighting off the mutant creatures of this new world and some crazy over the top bosses. And did I mention you get to marry somebody and they help you and you guys can befriend animals to help you get more crops and defend your farm. Who would like some extra help in the game? I most definitely get vibes of some fast paced bullet hell type of gameplay on this on this indie title. And I'm still debating whether I want to get this one and play it or get it and review it, but we'll see. Atomic Cross is set to release May 28th. And that's all the games we got coming out in May. We definitely have some unique indie type games coming out with some pretty good decent games. Like I said, I know a lot of people was looking forward to Last of Us 2. I was planning on playing that myself doing a review. I was actually going to go back and play the first Last of Us to make sure I wouldn't miss anything. But, you know, it's getting pushed back, which is understandable what's going on. So, but hopefully we'll be able to get it this year. But that's pretty much it. So if there's any games on this list that you're interested about, let me know in the comments. If you know a game that's coming out that I had not mentioned, let me know. And that'd be about it. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I talk about stuff going on in the gaming and tech world. I do views on the, on the latest games and tech that's out. I do top 10 and new games coming out every month and so much more. Make sure to follow social media pages so you can keep up to date what's going on with me if you want to reach out to me. I love talking about gaming, so don't be afraid to hit me up. Catch me streaming on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. I will be back up and streaming, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. But like I said, hit me up on my stream. Make sure you follow so when I go live, you get the notifications. But this is Proto, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.